Alright, what's up? What's going on? So, three things. I'm going to try to make this quick. This is just a quick little update. What's going on in the life of Nate? That rhymed. Booyakasha! Point number one. What the fuck is Fong? What, what the hell is that dude? What is that? I don't even know. Somebody tell me. Jesus. Number two. What was number two? Revelator. I don't think I want to buy it no more. We, uh, I, uh, not we, I don't know why I'm saying we. I watched a, there was a video posted, like an hour and a half long of Sumido fighting the jam player. I lasted approximately eight minutes before I had to pause it and go find something else to do for a while because jam was making me want to kill myself. Holy good golly, her voice is terrible. It is worse than English Taukaka, and she never shuts up. I don't want to play a game where that exists. Obviously, this is blowing this out of proportion. I will obviously still buy Revelator. But seriously, please don't pick Jam on me. I, I'll hate you forever. Like, I will block you on YouTube. I'll block you on Facebook. I don't even use Facebook. I'm still going to block you on it. I will track your ass down on MySpace and block you on MySpace just to prove a point. It's unacceptable in my world to pick Jam. Good golly. So, that's point number two. Point number three. <laughs> the worst one. Nate stick having problems. It's a simple biological issue. Many men have issues with their sticks during their lifetime. There's nothing to be particularly worried about. There are pills. But unfortunately, that's not the stick I'm talking about. The stick I'm talking about is 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 this is this motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. This is the stick that I'm talking about that's having problems. Now, here's the thing as well. The problems first started last night. I was fucking around last night or maybe around 45 minutes and it was happening decently consistently like oh I, I should probably describe the problem first all the buttons work perfectly fine it's the joystick itself for some reason it would just randomly stop registering inputs there was no like oh if i do this specific thing if i do this specific motion if i like hit this part of the gate too hard it stops registering motions for like two seconds i have no idea i could i have no way to replicate it i have no way to force it to happen it just happens and so basically like it doesn't like I said it lasts for a, a second or two at most it lasts long enough for me to notice oh the stick has stopped registering inputs let me start you know like cycling this around in the 360 real quick and I get through like one or two revolutions before it starts working again and that happens chip just starts jumping all over the goddamn place um and like I said like last night it was happening a hell of a lot more I've been sitting here now for about I would say 45 minutes again just doing stuff and it is only ha in that time it's only happened twice versus last night it was kind of happening I would say on average maybe every three or four minutes um and so it kind of depends like if it's happening as rarely as it is happening now if it stays like this where it just happens once every like 25 30 minutes or something like that I will be perfectly happy to play matches under that condition like sure it'll suck if I end up losing a round because of it but it's no big deal if it's happening like it happened last night where it's ha it will probably be happening like once a game maybe even once around if I'm particularly unlucky unlucky that is a problem and that is not worth playing in the good part of that is that because it it's not like a permanent issue everything usually functions fine it's like it either is functioning fine or it's not functioning at all I can still grind out training mode I can still work on training mode stuff um so that's good we have that going for us so at the very least i can still sit here in training mode the bad thing is that if this ends up being like a debilitating issue there's no stick currently available that i want to spend my money on pure and simple like mad cats recently announced two new sticks one of them is a an original te1 model based on the te1 model has like a sh golden shadow loot icon. The rest of the stick is black. Looks very sleek. Looks very nice. I would, if it was available right now, I would buy it. I would purchase it right at this moment. Unfortunately, it's not available until February 2016. You can pre-order it, but they're not going to ship it until February 2016. So that doesn't exactly help me out right now. And none of their other sticks appeal to me. I don't like any of their other st any of their other sticks. Um, the only other PS3 slash PS4 stick that's available is Hori. And Hori's quality, as far as I'm aware, has declined enough to matter. Like, it's not, you know, oh, wow, these sticks are basically useless and you should never buy them. It's not to that point, but it is to the point where it's like they're using their own in-house parts to cheapen the cost of creating these sticks and to maximize their profits and blah, blah, blah. However, these 
parts do wear out eventually. I don't need a stick that has an expiration date on it. So that's why, like, I've had two Mad Cat sticks in my lifetime. One of which was an original TE1, back when they very first released the very first wave of the sticks. That is what that stick is from, and I am convinced it would still be functional at this point if I was not a clumsy motherfucker. I'm not actually that clumsy. I am arrogant and prideful and thinking that I can do everything in one trip. Surely! And then I dropped the stick onto cement. It knocked the gate loose. I had to pop open the stick, put the gate back into place. The problem with that stick is the gate. So I'm fairly certain if that had never happened, that stick would still be functional. I have a Chun-Li stick. I can't remember um, how long ago I bought it, but it was when Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out. I got it, like, within that week. So if you care to look that up to see how long it's been since I've had that stick, that it's still perfectly 100% functional, that's how long I've had that stick that is still perfectly 100% functional that has suffered through a whole hell of a lot of Marvel. And Marvel is a game that requires a lot of motions, a lot of movements, a lot of button presses. A lot more than this stick has goddamn been through. So, if I'm gonna buy a stick right now, it's gonna be a Mad Cat stick because I know I can trust the quality of that stick, if you understand what I'm saying. That's a lot of money to spend on that shit. Anyway! You may be wondering, well, why are we here, Nate? Because I can do stuff now. I can't do stuff. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's a, that's a bad start. I'm still not 100% consistent. That's the first time I have dropped it. Twice in a row in, like, basically since I started this game up. There we go. Fun fact. When I was working on this, so I was working on this last night. I actually was working on Fallout's Defense Canceling. That was it. It's kind of hard to tell, though. Fallout's Defense Canceling, son. Ooh, I can do it. Now I just need to figure out all the various applications of it, the variations in timing when I'm in the air. Because, like, right now, all that I've practiced is timing it like the moment I leave the ground, I do it. I think there are applic further applications where, like, you kind of do it in midair, so, like, you might be, like, right here, this would normally cross up, right? But if you time it correctly, it no longer crosses. Something like that. Like, that would be something that I need to work on to be able to properly time and get both hits of jumping heavy slash, that kind of thing, right? So, there's still a lot more work I need to do in regard to that. There is a ton more work I need to do on jump install. I've barely done anything. Only work I've done on jump installing is something that doesn't fucking work. This shit. Oops, not that. Not that. Dust has, doesn't have anything to do with it. Trying to... Oh, motherfucker. Trying to figure out if I can jump install the jab, the punch. Uh, turns out, well, number one, I couldn't get it. I don't know if it works. Like, I have no definitive proof that it doesn't work. I could not get it to work. But fun facts, you can combo close slash into that shit. Why does train mode have me use punch when you can combo into goddamn close slash? That's some bullshit. You can very easily do jump install off of uh, that because that does work. So you can very easily do jump install off of that. So that is now my practice mode right there. I'm going to start practicing on that. There's further applications, blah, blah, blah. The other thing that I need to work on is my goddamn wall cling. And so, like, the best way to do it as far as... Oops. It's like that off of an instant air dash where you're, like, right on the ground. So, like, you knock down. Oops, that was... Okay. See, I got a lot of shit to work on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I need to work on wall cling in the corner. Um, but basically, right now, I'm fairly confident in the combo. I'm fairly confident in faultless defense canceling, at least at a very basic level. Like, executing it, I'm, at, I'm very confident. Executing it in a lot of different scenarios, not so much. Jump install, completely, like, I terrible at it. I barely practiced it. But so I'm getting there. The problem is just the simple fact that the stick... Oh, hey, it actually... You saw a very brief, it, you, impossible to tell. Like, you would have to have been able to see my hands to see that I had started um, moving the stick and chip didn't move for like a half second. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's a simple, put purely, as it stands right now, I am very wary to play matches under these conditions, but I'm perfectly willing to do so because that is the third time this has happened in like almost an hour of playing. That's a very small rate. That's something that's, you know, it's not happening per round. It's not something that's happening per match. I'm perfectly happy with, like, you know, dropping something every 20 minutes or so. Whatever. It's online. It's not like the match is, like, truly 
matter in some capacity, so I'm perfectly okay with that. But like I said, last night it was happening a hell of a lot more often. I am not okay with it happening at that rate, so it just kind of depends on how bad this gets, how trustworthy the stick is about whether or not I'm able to um, actually do these things. So either it's going to stay a very minimal problem that doesn't affect me too terribly much, or you're not going to see me play a match with Chip until February of 2016 when I get that Shadow Leaf stick. <laughs> That's, those are basically the two options right now. Obviously, I am hoping for the former because I don't want to just... I will get so bored of training mode. Like, this is day, like, three of me in training mode and I'm already just like, alright, after 15 minutes, I'm done. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to do this no more. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. Can you imagine what it is in two months? I won't even want to play this game after another week of just of only, like, training mode and arcade mode. So, um, yeah, hopefully the, hopefully the problem remains this small, this minuscule, and then we can move forward and play matches and learn neutral and learn matchups and do stuff and be prepared for Revelator and all that stuff and hopefully, you know, have a functional stick by then as well. So I just wanted to throw that out there, let you guys know what was happening because I was actually preparing on hopefully starting to play some matches this next weekend and uh, if the stick degrades at all or if it just kind of maintains the consistency that it happened last night you won't be seeing those matches unfortunately so we will see and I am crossing my fingers that this stays like a very small problem but I just wanted to let you guys know that that was happening so uh, yeah crossing my fingers alright bye